Have you ever found yourself walking on eggshells around that one person who seems to thrive on drama and putting others down? The boss with the insatiable ego, the family member who always plays the victim, or the friend who subtly undermines your accomplishments. If you're nodding along, then you've likely encountered the dark forces of narcissism. These individuals act as emotional vampires, draining you of your spirit and well-being for their own selfish gain. It's an assault on your boundaries, your confidence and your very sanity. But what if I told you there's an ancient code for disarming these toxic influences? A suit of armor forged from the teachings of none other than Marcus Aurelius, the most powerful man in the world during his time as a Roman emperor. This philosopher king had mastered the art of maintaining unshakable inner peace, even while leading an empire plagued by civil war, pandemics and political turmoil that would break most people. Much like a modern-day narcissist's mind games, Marcus faced incessant conflict and negativity from all sides. Yet, like an impenetrable fortress, he wielded principles that transcended the chaos. By applying these very same stoic strategies in our lives today, we too can cultivate the resilience to thrive in the face of narcissistic abuse. So brace yourself, for this guide will equip you with not one, but ten powerful ways to torture the narcissist, not through retaliation, but by rendering their toxic behavior utterly impotent against your unflappable sense of self-mastery and peace. Get ready to go deep into the philosophy that helped shape one of history's greatest leaders. The real torture for the narcissist, losing their power to rattle you. And the first step begins by understanding their twisted playbook and the timeless wisdom to disarm it. Stoic Principles from Marcus Aurelius Before we dive into the strategies for disarming narcissists, we must first examine the philosophical wellspring from which these teachings flow, the timeless wisdom of Marcus Aurelius and ancient Stoicism. Imagine this scenario. You're a Roman emperor in the second century, leading an empire that stretched across three continents, warfare, political intrigue, plagues, and natural disasters constantly threatened to bring everything crumbling down. Yet in the midst of this unrelenting chaos and adversity, one man embodied a profound inner peace that was truly unshakable. That man was Marcus Aurelius, not just one of Rome's most respected leaders, but a Stoic philosopher of the highest order. While dictators and tyrants of his era ruled through fear and intimidation, Marcus mastered something far more powerful, the ability to rule himself. You see, the Stoics didn't seek to control external events, which they knew to be futile. Instead, they focused solely on what was within their control their judgments, reactions, and character. Have you ever felt consumed by circumstances beyond your power, spiraling into anxiety or anger? The Stoics had cracked this code of resilience centuries ago. At the core of Stoic philosophy lay four fundamental principles that became Marcus's anchors in the storm. Firstly, the dichotomy of control concerning yourself only with what you can influence while accepting what you cannot change. As he wrote, the universe is change. Our life is what our thoughts make it. Secondly, the practice of negative visualization. Paradoxically, envisioning worst case scenarios, not to instill fear, but to remove its grip. As Marcus urged, prepare to resign whatsoever is not your own. The third tenet, the view from above, encouraged seeing one's circumstances from a cosmic perspective, recognizing how small our troubles are when compared to the vast expanse of the universe and eternity. And finally, sympathia, the recognition that we are all part of the same universal whole, bound together and sharing a common humanity despite our superficial differences. These powerful mindsets were the armor that allowed Marcus Aurelius to navigate the most tumultuous of times with grace 
and equanimity. And in the next section, we'll explore how you can forge these very same principles into an unbreakable code for dealing with modern-day narcissists. Ten Stoic Strategies to Torture the Narcissist you're now armed with the philosophical foundations laid by Marcus Aurelius himself. But how can you weaponize these teachings against the narcissist's tactics of manipulation and psychological warfare? It's time to unveil our robust arsenal, a 10-point code for rendering the narcissist's toxic behavior utterly impotent against your unshakable inner peace and boundaries. Brace yourself, for these strategies aren't just defenses. They're a masterful offense to torture the narcissist in the most devastating way possible, by denying them the power to rattle you. How many times have you felt beaten down, doubting yourself after an encounter with a narcissist? What if next time the tables were turned? Strategy 1. Don't feed their ego. Narcissists are perpetually hungry for admiration and putting others down, to inflate their own sense of importance. Your counter? Refuse to play into their game, starve their ego by holding back excessive praise, disagreeing with embellished stories about their achievements, and not giving them the rapt attention they so desperately crave. When they try to diminish you or make snide put-down remarks, don't react with anger or defensiveness. This only fuels their superiority complex. Instead, respond with indifference or change the subject completely. As the Stoics taught, anger is a temporary madness. Don't allow their provocations to disturb your inner equilibrium. Strategy two, set firm boundaries and be utterly unshakable in upholding them. Narcissists are consummate boundary crossers and limit pushers. They test how much disrespect you'll tolerate before reasserting your rules. The solution Clearly define what behaviors you will and won't accept. Communicate it plainly and show unwavering commitment when they try to transgress. For example, if a narcissistic parent has a habit of berating you and making hurtful jokes at your expense, say upfront, I don't appreciate mocking comments about my appearance, career, lifestyle. If it continues, I'll have to end this conversation then calmly follow through every single time they cross that line. Never make empty threats. They spot that weakness instantly. Strategy three, practice negative visualization. True to stoic philosophy, mentally prepare yourself for the absolute worst of the narcissist's behavior and emotional abuse. Envision them raging, lying, manipulating, violating boundaries then realize you can withstand it all with equanimity. Their outbursts, once buffering your self-esteem like furious storm winds, become like gentle breezes once you've negated their power to legitimately unsettle you. Marcus Aurelius frequently envisioned gruesome possibilities like being torn apart by wild beasts. By contrast, a narcissist's most grotesque conduct seems trivial. As he wrote, think of yourself as dead. You have lived your life. Now take what's left and live it properly. Face their antics with the stoicism of one unburdened by fears. Strategy four, speak little, observe more. Narcissists are pathologically hungry for attention and reaction from their victims. Give them neither. When their toxic braying, lying or antagonism begins, respond with a staunchly neutral composure and minimum words. Turn your face to a calm, unreadable mask, resisting all impulses to defense or counterattack verbally. As Marcus Aurelius advised, how many things can I despise after first having undergone, defied, and proved them not to be formidable? Having visualized their most egregious conduct, you can watch it play out in reality with bemused nonchalance, unmoved and unimpressed. They crave punching your emotional buttons, refuse to give them any. Strategy five, view their behavior through a detached philosophical perspective. At their core, narcissists are broken, fragile people acting on insecurity and wounds from their own deprived childhoods. 
Though their actions may seem shocking or deliberately malicious, recognize they arise from deep-seated inadequacies and pity them. Don't take their tantrums and abuse personally. You're simply the nearest target for them to project their misery onto. Respond with the detached concern of an anthropologist, studying the dysfunctional behaviors of a different culture, neither endorsing nor judging them, but separated by an objective study of their tragic limitations. We're halfway there, but the path to impenetrable resilience continues. The next five strategies will show you how to not just blunt the narcissist's attacks, but disarm them completely using the Stoic's most formidable teachings. Strategy seven, have pragmatic expectations. Narcissists lack the self-awareness and psychological equipment required for lasting change, empathy or accountability for their hurtful conduct. Harboring hopes they may one day behave differently or experience a self-actualizing moment of contrition sets you up for continual disappointment. Pragmatically accept them as they are, broken individuals acting true to their own natures. As Marcus Aurelius wrote of difficult people, this is a natural occurrence following from humanity's common source. Resign yourself to the condition of their minds in a spirit of affection. As for what froths up in their minds, why distress yourself? They can't see things in the right way, for they lack good judgment. Realize their abuse arises from unresolved inner wounds, not out of any transgression of yours requiring redress or hope for reformation. Strategy 8. Practice self-control and composure. When a narcissist tries their hardest to provoke you into a loss of emotional restraint, bellowing, taunting, circulating malicious gossip, respond with stoic equanimity. They are pursuing the reaction itself as an ego boost, evidence of their success in piercing through your armor. Deny them that satisfaction. As Marcus wrote, the nearer a man comes to a calm mind, the closer he is to strength. Breathe deeply, pause, and remain indomitably tranquil. Unleash no anger or defensiveness, only indifference. Allow their provocations and falsehoods to dissipate impotently, like an ocean dissipating against an unbreakable rock. Kill them with composure. Strategy 9. Be indifferent to their opinion and approval. Narcissists constantly dole out intermittent approval and disapproval as a form of manipulation and control. One day, they're love-bombing you. The next, you're devalued and discarded as worthless. Their low opinion of you arises not from legitimate critique, but their pathological need for ego boost. Render this hot-cold dynamic utterly powerless by truly not caring what a narcissist thinks of you. Look inward for your sense of self-worth, security, and authority. As Marcus Aurelius stated firmly, if the thing spoke itself, it would say, I am contained within myself and suffice my own being. Find all the approval you require within your own conscience and values. Strategy 10. Focus solely on what you can control, your own actions and character development. The cold, hard truth is that you cannot influence, deter, or change a narcissist's profoundly disordered behavior and mindset through force of will or exposure to reason. All you can exert mastery over is your own response. The Stoics held that continual work on our own discipline, virtue, and wisdom is the only path to fulfillment, irrespective of external forces. As Marcus wrote, the universe is change. Our life is what our thoughts make it. Develop the unconquerable self. While narcissists chase empty external validation, your journey inward gifts you a bedrock of internal peace. What better revenge than moving on to a life of purpose and self-actualization? So there you have it. Ten strategies derived from the ancient wisdom of Stoicism to not just cope with narcissists, but sublimate their disordered games into opportunities for your own growth in resilience and self-mastery. As Marcus Aurelius himself said, the blazing fire makes flame and brightness 
out of everything that is thrown into it. No storm of narcissistic abuse can dim or erode your inner fire when you apply this philosophical practice. Which of these strategies speaks most loudly to you? Which ones could help reinforce your boundaries and inner peace? These 10 stoic strategies create an unbreakable defense against narcissistic abuse and manipulation. But the path to true resilience goes even deeper by fortifying the core of your unshakable self. Maintaining inner tranquility. Let's take a pause for an imaginative exercise. Picture your mind as an impenetrable fortress, fortified by the towering ramparts of Stoic philosophy. No matter what narcissistic forces besiege you from without, the tantrums, deceptions and waves of abuse, your inner sanctum remains inviolable, serenely insulated. This is the promise of Stoicism. Of course, erecting this steadfast inner refuge requires dedication and practice, constantly redirecting our perspectives, challenging our expectations, moderating our reactions. It's an ongoing process of cultivating resilience, but the rewards are immense. As we explored earlier, practices like negative visualization and invoking the cosmic perspective help contextualize narcissistic provocations as mere trifles unworthy of piercing our armor of equanimity. By envisioning worst case scenarios, we remove their power to legitimately rattle us and framing these dramas against the vast, uncaring cosmic scales renders them farcically insignificant. How might adopting these stoic mindsets begin to shift your interactions with narcissists from reactions of anger and hurt to indifference and pity? At the same time, we must have compassion for ourselves on this journey of mastery. Even Marcus Aurelius, speaking from the height of worldly power and philosophical enlightenment, acknowledged the difficulty of the path, urging, no life is free from tasks and the journey's end. There will be moments you falter, where narcissistic barbs or injustices penetrate your defenses. Forgive yourself, then realign with stoic principles. Never berate yourself. That only aids the narcissist's attempt to erode your self-worth. Instead, accept these lapses with humanity and refocus determinedly on rekindling your unconquerable spirit. As the ancient sage taught, the universe is change. Our life is what our thoughts make it. This odyssey towards fortifying our inner selves through stoicism is not about torturing narcissists in retaliation, for that would make us kin to them in spirit. No. Our path is one of triumph by transcendence, elevating ourselves to heights of wisdom and character that their manipulations and toxicity cannot breach. While they dwell in the mire of ego and interpersonal conflict, we ascend. As Marcus Aurelius urged, life is the pursuit of virtue and character strength. All deviations from this pursue are errors and failings. The Stoics' highest aim was the continual refinement of our own judgments, disciplines, and responses. Their teachings are the whetstone for sharpening our state of consciousness into an impervious edge, impenetrably serene, yet decisive and purposeful. So, as we conclude our philosophical journey into disarming narcissists, let's recap the key strategies that will continually fortify your unconquerable self. We began by unraveling the toxic playbook of the narcissist, their insatiable need for ego gratification, violation of boundaries, and compulsive attempts to provoke reactions as validations of their perverted sense of power and importance. Into this minefield of dysfunctional behavior, we injected the remedying balm of Stoicism, the ancient philosophy that guided Marcus Aurelius in maintaining his unflappable leadership and character. Even as his empire was plagued by civil wars, pandemics, and political backstabbing, from its profound wellsprings, we extracted ten potent strategies to disarm narcissistic manipulation at its very roots. 
by starving the narcissist's ego of fuel, enforcing steadfast boundaries, practicing negative visualization and detached philosophical perspectives, we render their provocations utterly impotent against our entrenched inner peace. As Marcus Aurelius himself stated with resolute conviction, the blazing fire makes flame and brightness out of everything thrown into it. We turn the narcissist's disruptive antics into opportunities for distilling our own characters into an indomitable essence of resilience, wisdom, and virtue. I'll ask again, which of these 10 strategies speaks most powerfully to you and your circumstances? Review them, then commit publicly in the comments below to applying at least one in the week ahead. Make no mistake, walking this stoic path is an arduous journey of constant self-reflection and realignment. As Marcus wrote, no life is free from tasks and the journey's end. There will be moments you stumble where narcissistic toxicity finds vulnerabilities in your armor. Forgive yourself in these moments, then resolutely shore up your defenses anew, following the ancient stoic exercises we've explored. Never stray from your philosophical anchors of pragmatic expectations. Control over judgment alone and the cosmic perspective that frames any turmoil as an infinitely small blip amidst the infinite cycles of the universe. For in the end, the greatest torture we can subject narcissists to is to render their juvenile games utterly powerless to disrupt our entrenched tranquility, wisdom, and self-actualization. While they dwell in personal dramas, unrestrained egos, and ceaseless interpersonal conflict, we ascend to a state of enlightened indifference, impenetrably insulated yet decisive in purpose. As Marcus Aurelius exhorted, life is the pursuit of virtue and character strength. All deviations are errors and failings. Stay resolute on this philosophically guided path towards refining and fortifying your highest self, steadfast, self-directed and impervious to those who would compromise your serenity and integrity, for that is the final bitterest torture to those lost in narcissism's feedback loops of self-absorption and conflict, our departure from their petty cycles altogether into the luminous refuge of stoic restraint, insight and unconquerable character. Let us embody Aurelius's charge to acquire indifference to pretty folks and personal squabbles. The oath we renew today is to continually cultivate fortresses of inner peace and virtue no narcissist can breach. You are the architect and unwavering guardian of this sanctum santorum, this hallowed ground of your unassailable self, reinforced by ancient wisdoms that have withstood greater storms than mere human pettiness. So build ever higher your ramparts of resilience, tend ever brighter the eternal flames of your reason and integrity. Emerge, like Marcus did, unbroken but enlightened by the challenges of darkness and disorder, for in your radiant example burns on the beacon of human potential the path towards reclaiming our unconquerable selves.